Hello, my name is Benoit Janet. I'm a Swiss photographer and artist now living and working in Berlin. I'm showing in the On Earth exhibition at Four Museum a few pieces from my work called Escape from Paradise. The project is basically an iconographic research of the visual and popular notion of exoticism and its construction. In the, the project I use the Hawaiian Islands and the Pacific Ocean as a kind of uh, observation laboratory. The project started a few years ago when uh, I was a bit thinking about the um, responsibility of artists and photographers about making new images in our era where photographs and images are already overflowing us. So I decided not producing new images by traveling, but um, trying to make uh, already made images traveling to the studio. I started working on the website eBay uh, using keywords like um, exotic landscapes or um, tropical images and I found a bunch of outdated posters um, printed on cheap paper. So I bought some of them and when they arrived to the studio I decided to work with them not only for their contents but uh, also for their own materiality. And I started working uh, from um, a memory that I had of one of my previous trips in the west of the US where I seen a tourist in a gift shop making a, pi uh, making a picture of a poster and using the direct flash on the, of the camera uh, straight on the glossy paper. And the funny fact was that uh, this poster was representing exactly the same uh, landscape that was uh, outside of the gift shop for real. In my studio, I, uh, I think it was uh, interesting to react with this memory, with these images. So I set up my camera and uh, just managed to have the, um, to have the flare of the direct flash uh, exactly on, on the same place where was the, the sun uh, on the picture. So I had these kind of erasing images uh, of landscapes disappearing under the overexposure uh, of, the, of the flash. And I think the research of the project really started when I showed these images to an amazing artist called Michael Stevenson. And the first response that he gave to me was uh, the question, are these images related to uh, the atomic tests on the Pacific Ocean? So by this uh, response, I, I, um, I kind of realized that these images became two things at the same time. Uh, this images was representing this kind of tropical ideal uh, localization of the paradise on Earth. At the same time, it was um, images representing the, um, the nuclear explosion. And in the research, I was reading a book of John Hersey uh, called Hiroshima. And the first chapter of the book called The Noiseless Flash, um, some, eyewit some of the first eyewitnesses of the explosion, the nuclear explosion in Hiroshima, describe it as a kind of giant uh, photographic flash. So it was interesting for me to, to conceptually um, link the nuclear explosion to the photographic acts. Thinking about this explosion uh, as a kind of image in the making, so that's, uh, that's a bit related to, um, to the pieces uh, for an exhibition, which are these large prints on perspex mounted on a wheel. These, uh, these prints are uh, related also to the, the idea of mobile images that are always uh, moving on areas and also on the history and, um, and see how now images can be kind of evaluated by their uh, representation and not for their uh, initial localization. In the work, also work it with um, kind of popular objects um, and I chose working with Hawaiian shirts. I discovered a really violent history made out of the, um, the Japanese migration and these migrants, uh, this migrant working uh, in pineapple plantations of colonial uh, fruits companies. I decided at the point um, to use these shirts and to make out of them some sculptures related also to the violence of the history. So I shaped kind of bodies 
who are uh, collapsing under the, the, the weight and the violence of, uh, of the history. I also uh, was interested by their, uh, the visuals that are kind of always printed on this shirt, uh, which are pretty often flowers. And I decided trying to transfer some uh, of these uh, visual elements and I changed the flowers of the shirt by the image of the um, mushroom from the nuclear explosion. The first thing that you, you see in the shirt is uh, the shirt with flowers. When you look at it in a, in a more uh, precise way, you can see a collapsing body and images of nuclear explosion. So yeah, the project now is kind of hypothesis of how um, the global uh, perception of the world is made on um, the dialogue between images and their context and see uh, how the, glo the globalization and the diffusion of these images are really shaping the construction of a worsenized perception of the world.